Hello, I'm Artifacts of Mars. Uh, this is the last time on this subject, unless something happens. If we have more of these and it's confirmed, then what I'm going to do is I'll do yet another update on it. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put forth a hypothesis. Now, this reminded me at first of so-called Battle of Los Angeles, which happened in February of 1942. World War II is raging. Pearl Harbor had just been recently attacked, and tensions were very high. And some object went over Los Angeles, and the aircraft gunners fired at it. They fired. I think 1,237 rounds, some number like that, they weren't able to affect them. Some people got, got killed on the ground. Th that's why this reminded me of that, and here's the point that I'm trying to make about that. Well, what I'm thinking is, I don't think these were Russians that they were chasing. Something happened, you have the video of the air raid sirens, so something definitely happened. Only this one station, uh, out of New York City, reported it. It's very confusing as to why. This is a pretty good news source. What I'm thinking is, see, our military, our Air Force, has this obnoxious habit of chasing UFOs, and then they don't admit to it. In other words, they don't tell the public that they've been pursuing UFOs. No, they chase them with fighter aircraft and helicopters and such. And... That never makes the news. It's happened time and time again. I mean, we've had cover-ups from since before Roswell. The Battle of Los Angeles, that hasn't ever been revealed to the public what that was, if they even know, which I actually doubt. So, and it just goes on and on. You have 1952 invasion over Washington, D.C., and Maelstrom Air Force Base where they disabled missiles. So, what I'm thinking is that maybe radars were picking up UFOs instead of Russian aircraft. Is usually they seem to be quite willing to discuss, disclose Russian aircraft uh, engaging our planes. And apparently nobody's seen anything except for our fighter jets, helicopters and such. I don't know, this one is a toughie. Until unless we get more information, we're just going to have to leave it. But, you know, look at this, look at the headlines, Superstation 95, 95.1 FM, New York, New York. If that's out of New York City, it's not any uh, small deal. That's one unbelievably expensive place to have a business. So, I'm thinking they're pursuing UFOs. And that means we had some pretty serious UFO incursions, if I'm right. No way to prove it. Can't be certain of it. But that's what I'm thinking. It would be typical of our military to basically, you know, chase after UFOs with fighter aircraft and then they 
turn around and say, nope, nope, nothing to it. There isn't much reference on the internet. I've tried. It's been scrubbed. Or it just was never there. One of the two. But the uh, video clearly, you clearly have sound of air raid signs and somebody's looking out to see what the hell's going on in the middle of the night. Apparently it wasn't a fire, or they'd be used to that, and they wouldn't bother recording it. Keep your eyes open, keep your eyes on the sky, if you see anything, record it, and get it up on YouTube. It's about the best I can say. I'm not going to do any more updates until and unless something happens. And I don't have to repeat this again, but I'm going to. We're in very great danger. War tensions are very high, and the mainstream, lamestream media basically denies it. They deny that there's any problems going on. Of course. They're not going to tell you the Russia's pointing nukes at us, and we're pointing nukes at them, and they're making demands of us, and we're making demands of them. And, oh boy, very, very ugly situation. So that's my opinion. I think it was UFOs. The booms may have been sonic booms uh, from the fighter aircraft. I don't know. I don't think this was an incursion by Russians, but I could be wrong. I'm on a fact to Mars. Thanks for your patience. Thanks for watching. Bye now.